So what is the best external hard drive and storage setups for your video files, your photos, and all the data that comes with creating videos on YouTube? We're gonna talk about that in this video. Hey, what's up guys? Sean here with Think Media TV, helping you go further, faster in media. And on this channel we do tech gear reviews, video gear reviews, and tips, and Q&A videos just like this one. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Tavon asks, what are the best practices for storage on your computer? I have a MacBook and the videos take up so much space. Help! Great question, Tavon. Now, as a disclaimer, I might not be the best person to actually really answer this question. I do have some solutions, I've got some tips, but I'm kind of a hot mess and I'm in the process of figuring all of this stuff out. So, my number one really tip is external hard drives. And that's what I use. And my main setup is these three, like four terabyte Western digital hard drives. Now, these things are super solid. I've never had a problem with them. They are awesome and they've been working for me great. Then I also use uh, hard drives on the road. I use a portable, like a Passport Western Digital. Then I also use a Toshiba and all of them have been crushing it for me. Another tip when it comes to just storing your video files, I mean eventually, yes, you need external hard drives because they're gonna be bigger than the space on your computer or on your laptop is Lacey hard drives. Benji, um, from Video Influencers and his wife Judy, they vlog and, and they store their footage because they might want to use it for in the future. So they use these rugged Lacey hard drives. So I'll link up all the stuff that I use in the description below as well as those Lacey's so you can check those out, which is nice, right? Because you don't want to drop it and have it, uh, if you're on the road, you're on the go, you're vlogging, you want to make sure your data is protected. I don't really do client work anymore. And so when I did, it was critical that I had a really solid backup solution in case there was like some mission critical footage from a client that's not gonna pay me until you know that work is delivered. But at this point, I usually keep my footage on SD cards until the project is comp complete. And then once it's online, I feel pretty good with it. Because if it's like like a talking head video like this one or something, I, I wanna make sure that the project gets done so I keep it on the SD card, load it onto the external hard drive, edit all the footage, get that on YouTube, and then pretty much let this footage go, right? It's not super important. If it is important, then I make sure that there is some redundancy. So a huge question that you wanna ask is how long do you wanna keep your footage? Like I mentioned, Benji and Judy, they are keeping that footage archived on hard drives and they are making sure those are labeled and then they've got all of those. How important is your footage and how long do you wanna keep it? That's one question to ask. If it's not that important, you know, you might be able to delete it once the video goes live on YouTube or once you get it published with the world. Maybe you wanna keep that high quality footage. You have to answer that question. Another question you should ask is how fast do you want your workflow to go? And so they use the Thunderbolt versions of the Lacey's in uh, you know, unison with a Mac to have fast editing. And the speed of the drives and the speed of, you definitely want like USB 3.0, you know, it's definitely gonna matter because everything when it comes to video editing is all about speed. Now, an interesting thing, if we wanna get a little bit technical to speed up your workflow, is I edit on a PC and my operating system is on an SSD drive and the software runs on an SSD drive. I have an internal hard drive that all your uh, cache files, all your cached data files for editing is on. And then the footage is on the external hard drives. And so not to get too technical, but anybody, you know, you're watching this video, you wanna speed up your workflow, having that separated by three things is powerful. And what I mean is you've got a drive where your software runs from, you've got a drive where you go into your Adobe Premiere, your Final Cut, and you say, where are the temp files gonna be, the media cache gonna be? You put that on a separate drive and then you put your video files on a separate drive. That will speed up your editing. And so when you're thinking about video editing, think about you know how fast is the drive, how fast is the connection, Thunderbolt, USB uh, 3.0 or whatever else. And, and, and making sure that's not bottlenecking and slowing down your editing. And then lastly, I am definitely thinking about this question right now and thinking about investing in a ridiculously expensive NAS network area storage. You know, I'm looking at like 10 or 20 terabytes with like a RAID backup 
and uh, it's just crazy. These things cost, you know, a couple thousand dollars. And so that's sort of what I'm thinking right now. But that brings me to the question of the day. What are your best tips and best practices for storing your video files, for storing all the data that comes with media? Uh, post those in the comments section below. And remember that some of the best tips and advice comes from you, the Think Media TV community. There's probably a lot of people in this community that have some more organized and streamlined workflows than even I myself. So definitely check those out in the comments section. So thanks so much for checking out this video. Definitely subscribe for more videos just like this. And if you haven't downloaded the Think Media TV Video Gear Buyer's Guide, you can grab that totally for free. I go through the best cameras, lighting, and microphones for every budget. I'll link it up on the YouTube card and in the description below. Until next time, Think Media TV is helping you go further, faster in media. Keep crushing it, and we will talk soon. And videos take up so much space. Help! Great question, Tavon. Now, I might not be the best person